Hey there, in this video we are going to look at a 3D card animation. So we have a debit card right here and there is a front side and a back side to it. So we are doing a 3D animation that is being controlled by a slider down here. So as usual I have my constants dot dot file containing the colors and the textiles that I'll be using. And back inside the main dot dot file I have an empty screen. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slider that will slide in between 0 to 1. So since this is a very basic thing to do, I'll just fast forward this bit. So here I have a slider that slides and it slides from 0 to 1 so, and so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another stateless widget called a card container so the card container will hold the basic layout of our card so it will return a card with margin on all sides of 20 and the child is going to be a container whose height is going to be 200 and it is going to take the entire width available so it is going to be double dot infinity and let's add some decoration to this as well so if we go in and add a box decoration and select gradients linear gradient and add the list of colors so it is going to start with our constant color called k linear gradient start and end with k linear gradient end so i don't know why it isn't auto filling so anyway and if i hit run nothing happens because inside the column before the slider i'm going to add our card container and if i run it again i get this and before we further go into our animation let's do a bit more of tweaking here so i'm going to add an elevation here a shape of rounded rectangular border with a border radius of 15 on all sides and a clip behavior of anti alias and okay that seems good so we are going to create two more stateless widget the one is going to be the card friend and the other is going to be the card back and this is going to be the front and back side of the card respectively and before we add in the child i'm going to add a padding to our container as well so it's going to have a padding of 25 on all sides and in back inside here instead of a container i'm going to provide a column so the column is going to be aligned towards the end and it's going to have three children the first child is going to be a text that gives us the card number uh -huh. and the style is going to be a constant style that i have earlier did so k number style and a sized box of height then and finally and another text which gives the name of the card holder and the style is going to be k name style which is also a style that i have designed in the constants and we are just going to copy this and in our back side i'm going to paste this so instead of all this I'm just going to use and say back of card for the simplicity at the moment and now back inside our card container I'm going to take in 
an argument uh, which is going to be a double the value and I'm going to take it from the constructor and back inside our app when we create the card container widget I'm going to pass in the value that I'm using to control the slider here and here inside the card container we are going to add a child to this container so the child checks the value so if it is less than 0.5 then it is going to be card front else it is going to be card back so let's see let's just run and see how this all looks so before we do further we just need to add a cross axis alignment as well to both of these so which looks much better and if I hit run again we have our card ready and now let's do the animation so in order to do the animation I'm going to back inside our card container and wrap our card with a widget called transform so the transform has a property called the transform that takes in a matrix 4 so the matrix 4 dot identity we are going to create an identity matrix format and we are then going to set an entry to the third row and second column so this entry uh, actually manipulates the perspective change that we want so and we are going to give it a value of 0 0.001 so the larger this value the larger the perspective change is going to be and smaller the value the smaller the perspective change is to be and before we end it off we are going to do one final thing we are going to say rotate it through an angle of pi which we get from the math library and multiply it with the value that we are passing through the slider and so if I hit run let's see how that looks so in order to fix this we are going to use a property called alignment which changes the center of rotation so we are going to say the center of rotation going is going to be the center of my widget so next time I look at it I have it rotating all correct but the back of card is not actually the correct way it is it is supposed to look it is mirroring so in order to fix that the simplest tweak is to do that we are going to check the rotation value so before we rotate it blindly I'm going to check if the value is less than 0.5 so if it is true then I'm going to say multiply the pi by the value that's being passed else multiply pi with 1 added to the value that is being passed so this actually we are doing this based on a mathematical reason that is going on the background but to explain that it will take a much more time so I believe you guys can figure what that stands for so that's it we have our animation here and I really hope you guys implement it it is a very animation it is a very easy animation to do even though it looks a bit complex and until I see you again in the next video, goodbye.